Are you looking to have a digital planner that is functional, has many different features, and is a very versatile as well? Well, that's what I'm going to show you how to do today with ClickUp. The one to replace them all, as they say. And so far my experiences, yes, pretty much, yeah. It has so many features. I've made many digital planners in my past videos. I've played around with a lot of different project management tools and note-taking apps and all that. And by far, ClickUp is my ultimate favorite because I want something that is versatile, has a lot of functions, does a lot. So if you are into that, keep on watching because I'm going to show you a day-to-day -day easy task management system that will help you be very productive in your day-to-day -day life. Now let's get right into the video. I am definitely going to make more videos about ClickUp, so let me know in the comments if there's anything specific you would like me to show you or talk about. All right, so we are in ClickUp, and the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna create a personal planner where you're gonna put all of your personal to-dos that are not work-related, just life-related, like errands and chores and all that. So we're gonna set up a space by clicking here, and first of all, we're gonna give it a name. You can name it anything. I'm just gonna write personal planner. Then you can choose a color and an icon, whatever suits you, or however you wanna customize it. Since it's a personal planner, most likely you will set this space to private. Now, if you wanna share it with anyone ever, you can always change all of these settings. Next, we're going to set the statuses. Now, we're gonna keep it pretty simple. I'm going to add to do, in progress, or doing. Behind, if I'm behind on something and I really want myself to know that, done, and completed. The difference between a done and a completed status is that a completed status makes a task disappear but done show is it on the calendar by default and you can use them for different things if you want to keep it simple you can just use completed and don't need to have a done status it really depends on you and what suits you and you'll just figure it out while you use your planner you can also change the colors of the statuses you can make whatever you want you can put these colors like I did, or you can use some sort of specific color scheme. Then we are going to set click apps. So click apps are basically these little features that you can add to your space. And we want to keep this very simple. So there's no point in you adding everything if you're not gonna use it all. And because it's gonna make things more complicated and cluttery looking, and we don't need that. If you know that there's a click app that you never going to use in this specific space what's the point of adding it right so the ones i recommend adding for example are priority tags and custom fields now you can set default views i recommend keeping this very simple and just having the list and that's it or maybe a calendar as well but that's all you can always add more views to your lists but these views are the ones that are going to be in every single list no matter what. So you want to keep things very simple. Don't add anything that you don't completely need. And if you realize that you do need them afterwards, you can always change it. Now, we're going to add some tasks into this to-do status. I'm just going to add a few here. I'm going to speed this up so you don't have to watch me slowly add a few tasks here. You can add whatever you need to do. You can get whatever to-dos you have written down on your notes or on your calendar scattered around different places, just put them all in this to-do status. I just noticed that my ClickUp is on a dark view, so I'm just gonna quickly change that to light. There we go. Now when you're done with that, let's set the custom fields. So first things first, I'm going to remove assignee because this is a personal planner that only I am going to see and only I am going to be in. I'm not gonna have a team of people in my personal planner. So there's no need for me to have an assignee custom field. And I am going to leave due date and priority alone because I'm going to be using those in the future. You can add anything extra as a custom field. There's a list of custom fields on the left side, as well as 
custom ones that you can create yourself on the right side. So you can create one or you can select one from the left side. After that, I am going to show you how to add tags. So tags are a great way to basically kind of give you a good view of a specific task. You can use tags for anything. But for example, for me, I like to use tags for, for example, anything that's a specific appointment or an event. Maybe you do all of your errands in one day, so it saves you a lot of time. So tags are a very easy and visual way to see, oh, I should group these all together in one day, right? And appointment or event tags are a great way to be wary of, oh, I have somewhere to be at a specific time. It's a lot more flashy. If you have multiple tasks that have the same tag, you can multi-select them by clicking here. And you have this bar on the very top. And just add them like that and dismiss it and all the tags are on those cards. I have all of these to do's and I am going to give them due dates or basically days where I'm going to do them. Now if we go to the calendar view by clicking here and going to a weekly view, let's pretend it's a Sunday. I, I know it's not a Sunday right now, but let's pretend that maybe you're planning your week ahead on a Sunday and you have all of these to-dos and you need to figure out when are, are you going to do what on what day, right? So if I go to weekly view, I have all of these to-dos on the right side. You know that they're in the to-do stat status because they have the status color next to the text. And what I'm basically going to do is I'm just going to drag and drop them on different days. You have two options. You can either put them on the very top, which is basically you can do them whatever time on that day. It's basically an all day thing. Or you can set them at a specific time. So this is honestly a thing where if you have a specific appointment at a specific time, then I would time block it. Or you have something important that you have to do at a specific time, then you can add that to the time blocking section as well. However, if you have to do that you need to do at a specific day, but you don't need to pick a time for it, you can do it whenever on that day, just put it at the top. Now, as you can see on the right side, I still have a few tasks left. And that is because these tasks or events or these to-dos uh, are not going to be this week. They're going to be maybe in the future, in another month or something, right? So I'm going to leave them as they are for now. And I'm going to go back to the list view by clicking up here. And then I'm going to find the tasks that don't have due dates yet. And I'm going to add them. And I'm going to add the due dates there. You can also do this uh, in the calendar. I just prefer to do it in the list view for, I just prefer adding due dates to tasks that are months or weeks away in the list view, but you can choose either or. Now, as you can see, the tasks are all kind of scattered around in this to-do status. So what I'm going to do for this planner space is I'm going to set the group by due date. And this is going to organize all of the tasks by their due date. If you want to know what status something is, which right now everything is in the to-do status, and you can see the pink box that's right next to the text on the left side, which is the color of the to-do status. This is the most simple way to set up your personal planner for your personal to-dos. I have many other tasks and things written down in other lists that are more work related or a specific project that I'm working on in different spaces. And now what we're going to do is we're going to go to the everything space, which literally takes all of the cards from all the lists that you have in all of the spaces and puts them together. It looks very messy and we're going to clean it up. And the point of this is you can basically see what your work tasks are and your personal tasks are on the same day so you have a visual view of everything that has 
a time frame. There's so many ways to customize this, but I am going to basically show you how to do it so you can see your all of your to-dos and different projects as well as your personal planner. We are going to group everything by due date. Let's say you have a space where you have just ideas. And they're not tasks that need to be done or something, they're just ideas. You don't want to see them in this list view, right? Because it's irrelevant. The filter option is really great to kind of weed them out and not see them. It's because it'll just make things more messy looking. I have bucket list goals here that shouldn't be here because they're not tasks, right? I want this section to be tasks only. So we need to get rid of those because it just makes things look way more cluttered. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the filter and we're going to use that to basically hide these goals or anything else that's not a task from this list view. This list space basically just has ideas or bucket list goals or something like that. So I'm just gonna check all of that. So the, the tasks in this everything list view will not have those cards. As you can see, they disappeared. And it's as simple as that. And if this video helped you in any way, give it a like and subscribe for more content about digital planning and personal productivity. And be sure to watch this video next about how to break down projects into doable tasks with ClickUp. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time. Ciao!